Well, hello everybody. This is Three Dot Laws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Mike Murillo's new Hemi combination for No Prep Kings Season Six. Now, for the goes directly to their photo owners, please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming, all about the Three Dot Laws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Three Dot Law shows. So, as many of you guys know, Mike Murillo will be coming out with a new S550 Mustang called Death Row this season for no prep king season six now he has been needing a new car for a while now because la fonda his old fox body mustang just isn't capable of running consistently against pretty much all the new cars that are coming out right now and a lot of racers on npk are in this position they just don't have the chassis to run with the top cars that are coming out on NPK, especially this year that we're seeing a lot of new cars coming out. So not only will he change cars, but he will change engine combinations. Now, Mike Merle was the only racer running a big block forward on no prep Kings for a while. And now he is switching over to a Hemi. A lot of the Ford fans and Mike Merle fans are pissed off due to that move. But the bottom line is that Mike needs a reliable combination at high power levels and the big block four just wasn't reliable at that much power so he basically needed something that is very easy to get parts for which is not the case for the big block ford and also handles the high horsepower better and that is why he is going to a brad anderson hemi combination now, Mike claims, and he did claim it on the Street Outlaw Stat Guy show, that he will have the most horsepower out of anybody else on NPK. Now, this motor has made, I believe, 4,600 horsepower at the hubs at medium boost. So, obviously, it does make a lot more power than pretty much most of the field on NPK. Now, he is obviously Twin Turbo. Mike has been Twin Turbo for a long, long time, even before NPK. But even though he might have the most horsepower out of all of NPK, I don't see a Twin Turbo car being competitive unless they run at a lighter weight than the screw blown combinations and the Pro Charger combinations. Def Lutz was pretty much the only twin turbo car that was truly competitive and robin roberts as well but lutz had the fastest twin turbo car last season and the only reason why he was the fastest car in my opinion not only is he a great driver and his son is a great tuner but he runs at a much lighter weight than the twin turbo hemi combos and the twin turbo 41x combos so Let's see how Mike does. I believe that he can have all the horsepower in the world and the best team in the world and the best car. But under the Season 5 rules, if they don't take weight out of the Twin Turbo Big Block combo, I don't think we're going to see a Twin Turbo car relevant this year. Because the blower cars and the Pro Charger cars, they 60 foot faster, they 330 faster, they create a lot more downforce from the exhaust that helps the car stay planted. And they are a lot more consistent. So hopefully Mike does good. I really want to see him do good. And uh, hopefully they actually favor this combination and the rules this year in comparison to last year. So the twin turbo cars can be relevant. Because last season they were not really le relevant. So let's see what happens. And hopefully they release the rules really soon. <laughs> 